welcome to Victory Now. I'm glad that you're able to join us this week. Some of you are joining us via YouTube on Thursday night for our Victory Now Bible class, and some of you are tuning in on Sunday morning for our radio class. And we're just so excited that you want to hear the Word of God. We're honored and blessed and fortunate to be able to bring the Word of God to the Maysville community, the surrounding areas. Uh, and just sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have a really special announcement uh, to give to you today. We have a very special guest coming uh, to the Maysville area this weekend, this Sunday morning at 10 and Sunday evening at 630. It's Greg Moore coming from Colorado Springs or from Woodland Park, Colorado. He is a professor at Andrew Womack's Karis Bible College. They're training people all around the world uh, with the gospel, training them to minister the gospel with signs and wonders following. Uh, Greg was a pastor in Texas for a good number of years, started a church and built it up, and it's still continuing with uh, a pastor that succeeded him. And Greg has a powerful miracle and healing ministry He has seen a number of people healed and has actually uh, been healed himself of some terminal uh, diseases. And we're excited to bring him in uh, Sunday, rather Sunday, March the 19th, 630 for the healing service. He'll be here at 10 o'clock to minister to our Sunday morning congregation here at Victory Christian Center. Uh, but he will be here at 630. Those that service, that healing service, both of them are open to anyone that wants to come. Uh, our church is a community church. We're not just inclusive to ourselves. And we uh, are encouraging you to bring the sick, those that are terminally ill, bring them. Uh, as you can see, some of you can't see because you're on radio, but I'm looking at his website right now. And uh, there are several testimonies. Here's one uh, of a shoulder healed on December the 2nd, 2022. Uh, They had severe shoulder pain. And so uh, in the service, the Lord told him to say, start, if you have shoulder pain, start moving it. And so this person named Cheryl said, I moved it around. Pain started to disappear by the second, praise God, it's gone. It's a chronic, re- it was a chronic reoccurring, reoccurring issue. It was a tear in my shoulder. She said, I love to work out. It doesn't take much and it, and it doesn't take much and it sets me back constantly. I've received this healing and I'm standing on his word by faith that it shall never occur again in Jesus name. Here is the story of a 92 year old man born again in Greg's services. Here's another one. Uh, on September the 3rd, eczema healed on live stream. This occurred on live stream. Uh, and so uh, Jamie was healed of eczema. Here's another testimony of a healed bladder. Someone's bladder was healed. Uh, and so they have even stopped their medication now and are completely healed. Here's another one uh, that came in by Michael, who uh, it was declared in one of the services, your son will live and their son who was uh, going to die did not die and is on course for a full recovery. And in fact, is already back to work. Praise God. Here's one who got free from severe anger and um, one with uh, cancer of the mouth healed powerful testimonies. Greg Moore Uh, is also in charge of Association of Related Ministries International. That's an outreach of Andrew Womack's ministry and its pastors and evangelists and teachers, prophets all around the world are a part of this organization. It's a branch of Andrew Womack's ministry. Many of you listen to him on uh, TV and radio. And Greg is in charge of that. Greg also speaks on a regular basis uh, with Andrew Womack in uh, a, a Woodland Park, Colorado. He's on his program and show. They go way back. Uh, Andrew used to come to Greg Moore's church in Texas many, many, many years ago. And uh, now he is uh, a key minister at the Bible College there in Colorado Springs. We're excited. We expect a miracle. So we encourage you, please bring the sick, even the terminally ill, bring them. I want to take about five minutes and I want you to hear Greg's 
testimony itself. It is such a powerful testimony. I want to encourage you to hear it and then uh, get get somebody to bring you to Victory Christian Center on Sunday morning at 10, especially Sunday evening at 630 for the Healing and Miracle Service. We are expecting healing miracles to happen Sunday night. We've been seeing it for many, many months now, and we're just expecting to increase it. So I just want to take a minute, let you hear Greg's testimony about his healing from thyroid cancer. My name is Greg Moore. I was healed of thyroid cancer. I was born again in 1973. My wife and I uh, served God in a denominational church. But in 1976, we were filled with the Spirit, and we were enjoying uh, the fruitfulness of, of ministry and God using us. In 1977, I discovered a growth in, in my neck, and, and uh, at first it was very small, but then it, it grew to about a, a golf ball size in my neck, and, and um, we prayed, not understanding grace at that time. Uh, I knew that God would heal. I just didn't know He would heal every time. I went to the doctor, and uh, when the doctor examined me, uh, he, he let out a, a four-letter expletive, which uh, did, wasn't encouraging. Um, and then he said, you know, you're going to have to, you're gonna have to uh, we're going to have to take a biopsy. We're going to have to, uh, you know, go do all, the, all these things, maybe have surgery and as my wife and I were uh, praying and seeking God, he, he told me to have this surgery. Uh, they removed a growth from up my neck, and the doctor came in and talked to my wife and then subsequently talked to me and said, now, uh, we, got the, we got the pup. We need to go get the mama because it's, it's thyroid cancer. Uh, and depending on how much it spread, we don't know if we can save your voice box. Um, it was pretty alarming. Uh, what, what he said, though he said right now it seems to be contained, and so we're going we're gonna to have you uh, go do t- some tests, and I've just begun to seek the Lord. You know you do when you hear the, hear the word cancer. And this time, the Lord said, I want you to go to three men, and he, and he showed me who they were. Uh, I want you to have them pray for you. The cancer will die. The devil will leave and you'll be healed. And I said, well, praise God, that's awesome. So I, I made appointments with those three men. What I discovered was when I, I, when I went to these men, they helped me deal with things in my heart and unforgiveness and different things that might hinder the fruitfulness of the Word from manifesting. And then when I went to have the tests, well, I knew I wasn't gonna have surgery. I knew I was healed. I knew that when they ran those tests, they weren't going to find any cancer. And so they, they, I had to swallow some kind of substance and then not swallow for three minutes. You know, you try that, that's, <laughs> that's tough to do. And so I botched up a few tests. <laughs> and, uh, but we, we took, did those tests for over a three day period of time. When I came back in on the third, third day, uh, the head nurse looked at the results on the test and just shook her head. She said, I got to go talk to the doctor. And I said, well, I just heard a message from my pastor. You can take a, a report as good or bad. And I said, well, I'm just going to take that as a good report that uh, they didn't find any cancer. And that doctor, he came in and he said, son, why did, why did the doctor send you over here? You don't have any cancer in your body. And man, I was praising God. I, I walked out of that place, you know, on a cloud. And, but, you know, the thing about it is I was rejoicing ahead of time. I knew God had spoken to me, and I knew I wasn't going to have to have any more surgery. And what the Lord began to show me was that this was an attack of the enemy against my ministry, against God's purpose in my life. I just made a decision from that day forward that, that what the enemy had attempted to do was to rob my life and rob my children, rob my wife of a husband and rob my children of a a dad and 
I was, I was not going to let him go. When, when I received the healing, I was, I was going to preach it from the housetops. I just decided I'm going to tell everybody what Jesus has done for me. I want to encourage everyone who's here tonight to recognize that though we have a large crowd of people, that Jesus is your healer individually. And you can expect that the same healing Jesus that brought healing to me from cancer several years ago, from my son Michael, uh, healing to my son Michael from an uh, arthritic muscular condition, that that same Jesus loves you and cares for you and He has healing for you tonight. And I speak healing grace to you and I encourage you to rest in His love and His care for you. You do not have to die. Jesus provided healing for you, and you do not have to die. I just want to say in closing, in Acts 10, 38, Peter, looking back at Jesus' ministry, said that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, healing all. He healed them all. And in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, says... Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if he healed them all then, and he hasn't changed, he's still, still healing today. He, in fact, he told us in Mark 16, he told us, he commissioned us. He said, preach the gospel to every creature and lay hands on the sick. When you preach the gospel, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We're expecting people to receive a healing impartation this Sunday night. Healing and miracles are, are here in Maysville, Kentucky. They're here for you. They're not just for uh, the Christians in Maysville. They're for you. Regardless of how much you think you've done wrong, how much you've sinned, how disqualified you are, God loves you, and he looks beyond your fault. So we hope you come. We're excited. The address is at Victory Christian Center, Sunday at 10, and then at 6.30 p.m., the healing service. Bring the sick. Bring the crippled. Bring those with cancer. We've seen blind eyes open. We've seen deaf ears open. We've seen growths disappear, legs grow out. We've seen skulls grow together that were cracked and bone grow together. We've seen some wild things, and it's all Jesus. Jesus is still the healer, and we're excited that you're going to come we're making room for you, and we hope you will come. Uh, you can check out our website at uh, uh, victorymaysville.com, or you can call at 606-759-7211. That's 606-759-7211. I want you to come and let Jesus heal you whether it's emotional or mental or physical, and most importantly, if you don't know him personally as Lord and Savior, to get the greatest miracle of all, and that's to be born again and know that you are. God bless you. We'll see you Sunday at 10 a.m. and the healing service at 6.30 p.m. this Sunday, March the 19th.